Praise be to Christ, brother. What are you doing here? Are you spying on me? Well, dear Gregor, I don't like that at all. Hold your horses. I was passing by and saw you here. It's no big terrible secret. Really, it isn't. I just go and read during services. There's no time otherwise. I mean, at other times I don't get to read what I like. And I keep it under the slab so the others don't find it. What kind of a book is it? I found it here in the library. It was on a shelf where it should never have been. So I hid it to read later. It's the Necronomicon. Ghosts, demons and invocations of powers beyond our world. Only it's written in a strange language that I can't really make sense of. All bara this and bara that. Who knows what it means? I tried to count the syllables, read the words backwards, but nothing. I'm not getting anywhere with it. Oh, I'm not too sure what the prior or the cicator would say about a book like that. Actually, what anyone would say. It sounds quite... prohibited. Ah, prejudice. But you're right, it is prohibited. For no good reason, though. Has knowledge ever done anybody any harm? If it wasn't harmful, it wouldn't be forbidden? That's a rather limited view of the world. Some write about the saints, others about demons. And an educated person should know both. Pity I can't understand a word it says. And I've been trying for quite a while. Just please don't tell anyone about the book. If the brothers learn that I took it from the library and hid it, I'll be in a lot of trouble. Our brothers' minds are closed to a thirst for knowledge. Actually, I don't care. God save. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also, because I really hate the question, Aren't you the son of- I was rich and I had every- I've no head for- That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the- There's something I should tell you. Something you won't be happy to hear. I'm here to find someone, and, um, well, to do away with him. But listen, it's not murder, not when it's a man like him. He's one of the brigands who burned down Neuhoff. He doesn't deserve to live. What's he doing here? And who are you? They call him Pius because he used to be a priest. When he found out a lot of people were after him, he hid away here. And as you can see, escaped suspicion. They sent me here to find him and bring him to justice. He's one of the novices. So we have one outlaw and one assassin in our midst. This place is a lot more exciting than I expected. Do you know who it is? Well, that's just it.
No, but I hope I'll track him down soon. If you find any clue that could lead me to him... I swear I don't know anything. Except that I'm not the one you're looking for. I won't tell you more. You're talking about killing in the monastery. Would you do that? I have a feeling you wouldn't. You're right. I'll keep it to myself. I've got problems enough of my own without involving myself in yours. And besides, I mean to be gone from here within a year, so why should I care what happens with the monastery? Thank you, Siskin. I appreciate it. You there! Stop! All right! You win! Surre Do you seriously think you can creep around here in the dark right under my nose? That's against the law. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. That's too much. I don't have... Well, it's a jail... Come on, then. I'll slaughter you. You call that combat? I'll find you, you cur. You can't hide from me. Can't you see we are a man? Therefore, 
since this spirit of silence is so important, permission to speak should rarely be granted even to perfect disciples, even though it be for good, holy, and edifying conversation. For it is written, one speech will not escape sin. And in another place, death and life are in the power of the tongue. For speaking and teaching belong to the master. should be asked with all the humility and submission inspired by reverence. But as for coarse jests and idle words or words that move to laughter, these we condemn everywhere with a perpetual ban. And for <coughs> he opens his mouth. What is it, brother? I'd like to ask you something ab Praise be to Christ. I'd like to ask you some. Well, that's all. I'd like to ask you. Some Who's in charge of things? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter, and soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered, our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Well, that's all. I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks? And what would you like those for? I'd like to practice opening locks, just for the fun of it. Just for fun. Pull the other one, brother. It's got bells on. Anyway, you're barking up the wrong tree. I can't help you. What troubles you? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. What can you tell me about the novices here? What can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and live a monastic life. After a year, you can make your vows and become a fully-fledged brother. I meant something specific about the brothers that are here. But you know them yourself? Yodok is an odd one, but he's diligent and eager. Perhaps too eager. Siskin is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Antonius is hard-working and will help with anything but praise less than he ought. Lucas is as quiet as a mouse, and no one knows much about him. And then we have you, about who I know. I 
I'd like to know something. I don't know much. Will you tell me something about yourself? I... there's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Come on. Is there really... I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walk through the... What would you like? I'd like to ask you something. Praise be the I'm not and what I'm looking for lock picks I'd like to practice opening just f Brother, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hand. You're right, brother. This is your first warning. Don't do it again.
What is it, brother? I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. I've no idea. Why don't you ask Brother Librarian? I'm Gregor. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Neblis, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and... I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chest's neck. Concoct two bucks blood potions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Talk to me, brother. Listen, there's something I ought to tell you. There's a dangerous criminal hiding in the monastery, and I came here to look for him. Ha! I knew it! He's a villain! Uh, well, who are you, though? Oh, it, it's better not to ask, isn't it? It's always safer not to ask. Never mind that. Who's a villain? That's Siskin. I always thought he was an odd one, the way he carries on. But now it makes perfect sense. He's a criminal fleeing justice. You mean he's not going to morning prayers? So you notice that too? Ah, you've got the wrong end of the stick. That has nothing to do with anything. You think so? He definitely acts like a criminal. Who else would it be? That's what I'm trying to find out. What are you going to do to that fellow once you find him? I don't know yet. You should talk to the Circators or the Prior about it, not act on your own. Or maybe you're the one I'm looking for. Me? A criminal? Look at me. How could I be? No, my friend, you're accusing the wrong man. If you want my advice, the oddest one around is Siskin. That fellow was never meant to be a monk. He's hiding something from us. No, I'm sure of it. It's you. A cowardly, filthy rat. A nasty, spineless piece of shit. No, I, I never. It was Siskin. It, it's him you want, not me. Leave me alone. I never done you any harm. Brother? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. You're right, brother. This is your second warning. Do it again and you will be punished. Brother Nevelus says that you didn't finish your work in the herb room. Have you lost your taste for honest labour? You're right, brother. Now, this is your third warning. And do you know what that means? A day in solitary confinement. Very well, brother. Now, show me what you have. heard some unsettling news. I've been told you've lied about who you are the entire time you've been here. What do you have to say about it? Who are you really? I 
I don't have anything to say. If I'm not me, then you're not you. And that must mean we aren't talking together now. Enough of that nonsense. Tell me who you are and what you're looking for here. I'm Carl, or I was, and I was ordered here by my father. What do you mean? I can find out whether you really are the Carl we accepted here. If you are, no. Service. Leave me alone. There's something I should tell you. Something secret. I'm looking for someone here in the monastery. You're looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice. At least... Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't valid here. In the cloister where- I'm looking for a footpad who's hiding out here in the monastery. He had a hand in raising the Neuhof farm. Aye, I, I heard something about that. But why are you telling me all this? Because you could help me. It has to be one of the other novices. That can't be. Have you told the prior? What are you going to do to this- Talk to him. Then I'll see. Do you have any idea which of the novices could be the imposter I'm looking for? I don't know, and I don't care to know. I wish you'd never told me. I think that you're the man I'm looking for. What are you on about? I am. Your secretiveness, the fact that you don't want to speak with anyone, that you keep to yourself. You're obviously hiding something. But I... I... You're wrong. You've made a terrible mistake. I'm not the man you're looking for. I'm not. Please, don't hurt me. I'll leave you in peace for the... You're a madman. A dangerous madman. I never want to speak to you again. What troubles you? I need to make... I'm no priest, but tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? Someone whose job it is to investigate the case, find the perpetrators and make sure they get the punishment they deserve. Punishment? Do you intend to punish them here, in the monastery? I don't know yet. I'm still just on their trail. Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. And all the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices, but still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. And you're right that it could be any one of them. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy worm. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous rat who'd do anything to get in someone's good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof since chills up my spine. I don't think it was him. But please, don't tell a soul what we've been talking about. Don't fret, my friend. Your secrets are... I know you're pious. The man I... So you're finally sure? Tell me, Gregor, 
or Carl, or whatever your true name is? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, at least you're prepared to think and not just play bloodhound for a pack of nobodies. And I'm glad you have your doubts. I don't want to be like the people I'm looking for. If I have to kill, it should be for a reason, not because I enjoy it. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us. But we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit and I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen, but I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit, but I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over, but then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace, and no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. You're right. But the people who sent me will find out if I don't kill you. They won't if we're clever about it. No one has to die. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery and some blood to make the tracks. What are you going to do? I need to get ready for a long journey. Prepare supplies, get some normal clothing somehow. That sort of thing. You can escape in that habit, but I need to vanish as fast as I can. What do I need the keys to the monastery for? How else will we get out? This place is practically a prison. Getting the keys won't be easy. I know, but Brother Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. If you know how to use them, they'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. He carries them with him at all times. They both sound hard to me, but needs must. And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it, all the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day, take it before anyone notices it's even come. All right, that's everything I need to know. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor, thank you. <laughs>